Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and today I am taking you to my favorite Dollar Tree. This one is located on Maysville Road here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And I'm so glad I went because I totally scored on so many amazing name brand items for $1. Yes, $1. My Dollar Tree is still $1, but I know that's going to be changing here soon. But for now, it is still just a dollar, so I'm excited to show you on what I was able to find. I'm also going to be adding some really funny footage here at the very end of a um, couple of my kids and my husband playing this virtual reality, reality headset thing. I'm also going to throw in a couple of Dollar Tree DIYs at the very end because I never got around posting it. So, with all that said, I hope you all enjoy this trip. All right, they are getting more and more of their storage containers, and I was able to find these three new ones. They had it in three colors. Love the lids. They um, click on the side so they seal tight, and they have a handle to match. And that is what it looks like. These are so cute. I picked up three of each for my kids' rooms to store some items that they want to maybe put in their closet and they can see exactly what is in the container. Speaking of containers, they are getting more of their bonus spies stuff in. So instead of two, you get three containers. Also, they have these again in three beautiful colors. I use these in my craft room. I'll have push pins in one and I will put um, different thumbtacks on the other side. They also come with a, like a little bowl thing there as well. You can always take that out if you want, but you don't, you don't have to. And look how cute these things of paper are. And of course, it's the llama. And look at all the paper you get. They're little sticky notes. And they are by Jot. Jot, you rock. These are so cute and very well made. They also have these cherries. If you're able to score some of these right before Christmas. Uh, Christmas well, actually, Christmas Eve tomorrow. Maybe you want to swing in and see if you can find some for the stocking stuffers. Speaking of stocking stuffers, oh, what about these other sticky notes? Love the boxes they come in. So they have the good times with the hearts. And again, they are by Jot. And then they have this palm tree one, which is really cute. And I really love these boxes. Very, very well made. Here's some more things of paper. They have, I think there are four different ones. So here you get the big long paper and then on the other side you get two smaller ones and you get the pen. And of course it is by Jot once again. They also have this flowered one in pink which is really cute. And then the tropical vibes with the leaf right there. With the little flamingos as well. And they have the bee. Love the yellow. Oh, honey. That was my favorite one. Okay, a little bit more paper to show you. These are just like the regular pads of paper, but they have the Velcro. And they all kind of remind me of a Trapper Keeper. They are lined paper. And they are 60 sheets by 5x7. And again, by Jot. I really like this one because it screams 1980s. I don't know why, but it just does. They have this beautiful flowered one, and I think this rainbow one is really cute. And kind of see how it's raised right there. That one was cute as well. These are some fun pens by Jot. They have a little puffy ball there on the top, and they have a different character on each one. All together, there's going to be four of them. And I believe it is black ink. And then they have this pink flamingo. Here's some makeup, and this is a Jumbo Lip Pencil, name brand. They had like three different colors, I do believe. These were on an end cap with a bunch of other makeup. Well, these are cute. These are fake succulent plants, and they have a few different ones. So here you have the white one with the pink hearts. And then they have the pink one with the white hearts. And they're like the square kind of pot. 
and they have different flowers as well. And if you didn't like the flowers, you can always, or plants, you can rip them out and do something else with them. And let's see, over here they have the round ones. This one is red with the white hearts. And they also have it in the pink with white hearts. Sorry, yawning. Been a long day. And here is the white one with the pink hearts. And these are over with all the other crafts. They had an end cap full of books. Very well organized and displayed. I know a lot of you said that your Dollar Trees have been bookless for a while. So I'm assuming they're probably stuck out there in the ocean somewhere. But they're, they're starting to trinkle in a little bit. So I'm just going through these fairly quickly just to show you. And again here at the very end I'm going to be adding two Dollar Tree Christmas decor DIYs. I'll put it in like fast mode really quick just to give you a couple of ideas on what I did. I'm kind of bummed that I had all these videos made and I just never got around editing them. So I apologize. But I will throw these two at the end and maybe in my next video I'll do another um, DIY video at the end of my haul. So if you're okay with that, I would love to hear your input if you would like me to add some more of my DIYs. There are Christmas ones, but I'm sure you can always do something else if you don't want to do Christmas. But yeah, just let me know what your thoughts are. Well, this one looks interesting. Wit and Wis Wisdom. That was a heavy-duty book. Okay, here we go. Look at all this. Is it Ani? I think it's called. I'm going to try not to go too fast, but every single one of these boxes that I'm showing you are different. You guys, I am blown away on all of this makeup and tools. I guess if you want to call them that for your makeup are only a dollar. Go ahead, go online, Google it, and you will see most of these are going for $5 on up. This is crazy. And right before Christmas, and plus it's even cute for a Valentine's or birthdays. It doesn't have to be for Christmas or anything like that. Or heck, spend your Christmas money if you get some and spend it on yourself. I mean, yeah, I'm just... And like, uh, what? And it just keeps going and going and going. And they have all these makeup sponges. They're different colors, different shapes. And then you have the compact mirror. I should have counted all of all the different ones. Maybe you can go back and and count, but. If I had a guess, I would say 25 different things, maybe. Dang, this is crazy. And again, these are all different brushes. And look at all of them. And here's a little bit more makeup by, is it Rimmel? Or I'm, I'm horrible with pronouncing words. But this is Conceal and Correct. And I showed those earlier in the week. This is new. Infused Pressed Face Powder. Green Tea Infused. Huh. Interesting. And they also have this for your eyebrow. Infused Eyebrow Highlighter. Wow. So yeah, that's new. 
These are some cute brushes. They are plastic, but they had the trolls. They had a couple of the princesses. And they have Frozen and My Little Pony. Look how cute these socks are. We have Snoopy, which is, you know, the peanuts. And look at Mickey and Minnie. How adorable are those? Those would be really cute for Valentine's, if not for Christmas. They also had these cute socks. I love the little ears that they put on the top there. These are sizes 5 to 9, and that flamingo I don't think belongs there. But oh well. They had a lot of these drawstring bags and some new colors. 12 by 13 I think it was so this one they have the bright pink they have a zipper on the front there they have the blue and gray and they also had this purple one over here oh look at these men's socks these are cute sizes 6 to 12 so you have fish the bears with the mountain you have some dinosaurs keep calm I'll fix it that is my husband and we have footballs and deer heads. Oh, here's some more of those drawstring bags. A beautiful teal, red, and black, and navy blue. Oh, they have a bunch of those candy jars with lids. Again, these are the ginormous ones. A fantastic deal for only a dollar. Ooh, here's some new metallic balloons. You get an 8-pack. These are fancy. They are 12-inch. Helium quality, it says. So those are some really cool colors. Those would be fun to have, like, for New Year's Eve. I'm trying to give you a close-up on what the colors look like. So, yeah, those are really pretty. Oh, they have these crystal balloons. What? You get a 10-pack with those. They had a few different colors. I didn't really dig through a lot of them. But I found that beautiful pink and this adorable purple and yellow. But on the front package there, it says blue, but I never found the blue. And look at these for cake toppers. You have, oh, baby. Baby boy and baby girl. And we have happy birthday in gold and silver. And look at these cake toppers as well. These are huge sparkly numbers. They had zero through nine. And they only had, only had them in gold. I never realized how many different things they have for parties. Look at all this fun stuff. Oh, and Ava said to have me tell you thank you to all of you that wished her a happy birthday yesterday. My fourth oldest, which Ava, just turned 15. Ooh, here's name brand little bags. You get 15 of them with the emojis on it. A lot of fun cups. These wash up really well. They are dis dishwasher safe as well. Oh, they have those popper, those confetti tube things that makes a huge mess, but the kids liked them. They had it in pastels and your regular bright colors. Have they had this this whole time and I'm just now seeing this? This decorative shred stuff and like iridescent colors? Please tell me I'm just now not just seeing. I don't know. I don't know. And they have these bakery boxes. Name brand. I think these came from like Party City or something. So those are cute. But maybe put some leftovers in even. Lots of different plates and napkins. Streamers. And there's the famous llama. Ten feet garland. Party caution tape. Some balloons. 
What? Some wooden forks, spoons, and knives say happy birthday. Get 12 of them. Okay, well, that's the end of our Dollar Tree trip. I sure hope you enjoyed it and you're able to find some goodies too. Jot down onto your wish list. If you want, why don't you go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you've seen something in hopes that you can find at one of your local Dollar Trees. Be sure you give this video a like. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload, then be sure you click onto that bell. If you would like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll link that down below. I will try my best to maybe upload uh, one last video this week tomorrow. Um, if not, it might be Sunday. I'm not 100% sure. But just in case, if I don't get around uploading or making a video, I want to wish you all a wonderful, a beautiful, Merry Christmas. And I hope you get everything that you are wishing for and hoping for. And again, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe Thursday. And I will see you in my next <gasps> video. Bye, guys. <laughs> Keep smiling. They came up at me. They came up at me. Like, Wait, come here. Come here. She's playing a game. You can't see her with her. He's like right up on my face. Something is missing in the Marshall Farm that needs oh. Doc's attention first. He's a hell of a good dog. Wow. Oh my God, Tommy. Well, I guess this is what she looked like if she got in a fight. <laughs> no, we both swung at each other at the same time. It's hot. I told you. What? I did. Why? It's gone. You got out of your circle. <laughs> it's like a praying mantis. <laughs> Doing a back bend. <laughs> For this DIY, these are all the items I will be using from the Dollar Tree some Christmas bulbs, bows, and pipe cleaners. So, all you need to do is just get your bulbs out. You can dump them anywhere you want, different colors, different sizes, doesn't matter and just start threading the bulbs onto the pipe cleaners. Now you can always use just a, you can use a rope if you want, you can use um, other wire, but I just thought this would be the easiest way to do this DIY. So you can make as many as you want or as little as you want. So I made four of them, so I'm just going to line them up and just start twisting them together on the ends of the pipe cleaners. So you can leave it straight, you can do whatever you want, make a snake, <laughs> or you can just place it on top of a shelf. I added some of the um, fairy lights from the Dollar Tree so you can light it up a little bit. So yeah, I think it turned out really cute. And there it is. Now I thought I would add a couple of these bows from the Dollar Tree. Again, this is optional, but I just thought I'd dress it up a little bit. And there it is with the bows. Now I'm making a complete circle, just tied them all together. 
I'm going to take some of the Dollar Tree fairy lights and just thread them on in. You can hide the battery pack right underneath if you want. Or you can do it behind, whatever is best for you. And there it is. I put a couple of candles right in the middle. And how adorable is that? A great centerpiece for your table for the holidays. Or these would even be cute to do for a birthday party or New Year's Eve. So yeah. I thought the colors were cute. Okay, now I'm going to show you what was just in that picture there off to the corner. These are all Dollar Tree uh, pieces of wood. I'm just trying to give you some different options on the stand. And sorry that I'm going so fast, but I just wanted to throw these in there. This is optional. I thought I was going to do white, but after I got everything painted, as usual, I changed my mind. So there's just different ways you can do your stand. Or you can use one of these blocks. And I thought I'd take some of this glitter paper from the Dollar Tree and glue this on the stand. Just because since I was doing a bunch of glitter and glam. So I'm just tracing the size of the block, cutting it out. And I'm going to do, uh, I think, four of them. Taking my glue gun and just gluing them right on. Again, this is optional, but since it was glitter and glam, I thought I would go all the way. And one more. And voila! Now I'm going to take the piece of wood that I painted white, and I'm like, well, that doesn't look right. So, got my glitter paper out once again, and I'm going to make it all glittery. Never thought maybe you can just use glue and glitter. That part would have been a lot faster and easier. But just now thought of that. Once you get it all glued together, start taking your bulbs out. You can do small, big, both. And make sure you do not use a hot glue gun that's really, really hot because it will melt your bulbs. So I'm just trying to place these just different uh, colors and you can see some of the glitter ones, you can see the plain ones, and you can make this as big or small as you want. So you can count to see how many I'm doing in each row until I get to the very top. And there you go. Super cute decor. Again, you can put on your table. I also did one with the multiple colors from the Dollar Tree. And I slowed it up a little bit for you. Now this is a ginormous one. I'm going to throw in some of the Dollar Tree bells and a bunch of their bulbs and pipe cleaners. This took a little bit of time, but it turned out so cute. So here we go. Again, get your pipe cleaners. Start threading your bulbs and then off and on I will put some of the bells on there. And again, you can do as many as you want, as little as you want, and you can make it as long as you want as well. Again, this would be something really cute for the table. So those are all the strands that I made. Now it's time to connect them. So again, I'm just twisting the ends. Yeah, I think if you put this like down the center of your table or if you're having a bunch of food, um, put it like behind the food on the table or something for the holidays, I think that would be super cute. And there we go. Now look at it. That thing's super duper long. Don't ask what I'm doing. I have no idea. But I thought I would just hang it here on my shelf. And you can always add lights if you want. You can add some Christmas trees in between them or deer or 
greenery, whatever you want. I like how I added the bells just to give it, I don't know, a little bit of character, I guess. I didn't do a good job hiding the pipe cleaners, but oh well. So yeah, that is what it looks like. So I hope I gave you some ideas. <laughs>